good defense of all who sorrow, O pure Mother of our God, ready help to those in trouble be for us both staff and front. Mary, full of grace, be joyful, for with you is God our Lord, and through you grants his great mercy to the world with grace out for strong protectress of God's people, depth of mercy, font of grace, through your womb has been born for us Christ the Savior of our race. Mary, full of grace, be joyful, for with you is God our Lord, and through you grants his great mercy to the world with grace outpoured. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For peace from the high and for salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our holy father Francis Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our most reverend and metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable presbyterate, <clears throat> the deaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits on the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Let we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is dual glory, honor, and worship now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, God, it is Lord, good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, through the prayers of the Theotokos. O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. The Lord reigns, he is clothed in majesty, robed is the Lord and girth about with strength. Through the prayers of your saints, O Savior, save us. 
Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. O only begotten Son and Word of God, who being in mortal deign for our salvation to become incarnate of the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death and trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior, O Son of God, wondrous in your saints, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Let us worship and bow before Christ. O Son of God, wondrous in your saints, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Protected by your appearance, O my Mother of God, today we devout people solemnly celebrate. Gazing upon your most pure icon, we fervently say, protect us with your holy veil and deliver us from all evil imploring your Son, Christ our God, and save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Today the Virgin is present in the church, and with the choirs of saints invisibly praise to God for us. The angels worship with their high arcs. The apostles rejoice with the prophets because the Theotokos prays for us to the eternal God. <clears throat> for you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy, holy and mighty, Siate Bože, siate krypky, siate besmetne pomiluj nas. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive.
Deus, peace be to all wisdom be attentive. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the humility of his servant. From this day forward all generations will call me blessed. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Wisdom. A reading from the epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, the first covenant had regulations for worship sanctuary, where a tabernacle was constructed, the outer one, in which were the lampstand, the table, and the showbread. This was called the holy place. Behind the lampstand was the tabernacle called the holy room, in which were the golden altar and incense, and the ark of the covenant and the ark of the covenant. In the ark of the golden ark of the incense, the rod of the had blossomed, and the tablets of Wisdom be attentive. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Listen, O daughter, and see and incline your ear. Alleluia, Alleluia. among the people will mm. seek your favor. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Praise the let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. According to St. Luke, glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus entered the village where a woman named Martha welcomed him to her home. She had a sister named Mary, who seated herself at the Lord's feet and listened to the, His words. Martha, who was busy with all the details of hospitality, came to Jesus and said, Lord, are you not concerned that my sister has left me to do the household test all alone? Tell her to help me. The Lord in reply said to her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and upset about many things. One thing only is <coughs> required. Mary has chosen the better portion, and she shall not be the bride of it. While he was saying this, a woman from the crowd called out, Blessed in the womb that bore you, and the breast that nursed you. Jesus replied, Brother, blessed are they who hear the word of God and keep 
Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today we celebrate a most beautiful feast, the protection of the Theotokos. In uh, Old Slavonic, we call it Pokrov. This feast reminds us of the constant protection we can receive from our Heavenly Mother. The origin of this feast concerns the miraculous appearance of Mary over 1,000 years ago in a church in Constantinople. At the time, Constantinople was under attack by the Turks. Mary appeared supported by St. John the Baptist and St. John the Evangelist, along with angels, many other saints. In this appearance, she took off her homophorian, her veil, and extended it over the people as a sign of the protection. She appeared because the people of Constantinople implored her help and her powerful intercession. Mary continues her protection to all who prayfully ask for it. As uh, our spiritual mother, she brings tenderness, compassion, and loving concern to our life. Her title, Theotokos, which means the mother of God, reveals that special relationship she has with her Divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of that close relationship, she can provide us with a, an extraordinary amount of protection, tenderness, and compassion. As our Heavenly Mother, she has a loving concern for us. She is a wonderful source of inspiration, hope, and compassion. Things we so disparate, disparately need as we journey through life with all its dangerous and faithful. So when we find ourselves surrounded by life's hardship, when we need protection, we can turn to Mary and offer her a sensory, sensory prayer. And be sure, she will carry our prayer and intercede for us before the throne of her Divine Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Let us all say, with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you hear and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome and for our most reverend and metropolitan William, for our God loving Bishop Kurt, for those who serve and have served in this Holy Church for our spiritual fathers and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray to the Lord our God, to hear the voice, 
voice of prayers of us sinners and to have mercy on his servant. Chris Garcia and to protect them from all sorrow, trouble, anger, and need, and from every mental and physical illness, to give him health with longevity. Say all here soon and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your great and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us who mystically <coughs> represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to <coughs> the life creating Trinity. <coughs> Now set aside all earthly cares, all earthly cares. Let us who mystically represent the Cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life creating Trinity. Now set aside all earthly care. All earthly cares now set aside. All earthly cares, all earthly cares. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom. Our Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, and our God loving Bishop Kurt, and our priestly diaconal and monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, and the ever honorable founders and benefactors of this Holy Church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith. Always, now, and ever, and forever. Precious gift <coughs> placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and this through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life rating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Amen. Let us now one another. That with one mind we may profess.
In wisdom, let us be Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the holy and offering peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. of her dominion for your God ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet you were the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of existence into being, and again raised us up where we had fallen, and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this, we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all that we know and that we do not know, for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us, we also thank you for this liturgy which we are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and sing a triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory, O Sanna. In the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son, in the highest. We also pray out with his blessed power, loving and kind master, and say, Holy are you, and all holy, you, and your only begotten. 
and Son, and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you, and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so love your world that you give your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the holy and plan in our behalf on the night he was betrayed, or rather, when he surrendered himself for the life of the world. He took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and the apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, it would chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Remembering, therefore, the saving command, and all that has come to pass in our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection of the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own, always and everywhere. Spiritual and bloody sacrifice, and we implore, the pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon this gift lying before us, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. As for those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you the spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, murderers, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend and metropolitan William, our God loving Bishop Kurt. Preserve them for the Holy Churches in peace, safety, and honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we dwell, and every city and community, and the faithful living in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by sea and land. 
To seek the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches, and those who remember the poor. And upon all of us, send down your mercy. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have created all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an aroma of spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, and mercy on us. And preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the world. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For grace and painless and ashamed, peaceful end of our life and for good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. <laughs> Asking for unity in the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. To you, O Master, who loves us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we implore, pray, and with you. Make it worthy to partake with a clear conscience of your heavenly and also mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, <clears throat> the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the, of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation, and make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For sign is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be with all of you. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To all things and the greatness of your mercy have brought all things out of existence into being look down from heaven O master upon those who bow their heads to you for they do not bow to flesh and blood but to you the awesome god therefore O master make smooth for the good of all the path that lies in it according to the need of each sail with those who sail travel with those who travel cure those who are sick O physician of souls and bodies through the gra <coughs> grace the mercy and the loving kindness of your only begotten son 
with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, <clears throat> now and ever and forever. Amen. Give us your most pure body and precious blood with your mighty hand, and to us, to all the people, God merciful to me, a sinner. Oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Let us be attentive, holy gifts, to holy people. One is holy, one is Lord. Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. O Lord, I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I'm about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. I shall take the chalice of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to us. Give me your body, O Christ. Savior and sovereign, O guest divine. Come and rest in my soul, Christ living God, now and forever. Come and rest in my soul, Christ living God, now and forever. Salvation's cup I receive, filled with your body and purest blood. Lord, my poor cry now perceive that I may share your life divine. Lord, my poor
poor cry now perceive that I may share your life divine. So great is God in power and glory. No mortal tongue can ever proclaim so great his throne and power sublime no mortal mind can ever contain savior people of god and bless your inheritance we have seen the true light we have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith and we worship the undivided Trinity for the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory. For you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ, now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life creating and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let, it, let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have <laughs> mercy. Lord, the blessing of those who bless you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, your churches, to the priests, to our government, and to all your people. For all generous giving and ever per perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace and loving kindness, always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and forever, amen. amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ our true God have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of his most pure mother 
Those protection we gloriously celebrate today for the needs of this holy church through the prayers of our holy father John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Ah, amen. To all people here present, to all our parishioners, and to Chris Garcia, and to all our brothers and sisters in Christ, grant, O Lord, many years. God, grant us many years. God, grant us many years. God, grant us many blessed years. In health and happiness, in health and happiness, God grant us many blessed years.